hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and as you guys read by the title mm -hmm, it is time for yet another empties video and as y'all can tell by this bag y'all can see it's starting to overflow so we're not going to do too too much on an intro so if you are new around here hey welcome my name is mink we would absolutely love to have you go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kinky crew fam and definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below so that i can personally welcome you to our kinky crew family okay so yeah y'all there is a lot of stuff in this bag but i know a lot of you guys are the natural hair kinky crew the girls and guys okay but i had my hair in braids for about six weeks um and i try to do my empties every three months or so so i um, it's definitely not as much on the hair empty so i'm just gonna go ahead and start with those and then we'll foul in with all the beauty and skincare and body care products from there all right, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first empty I have here is the Curls Dynasty Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment. This is eight ounces. Let me tell you something. I pulled this product out as like something to revisit. It was in my stash, but you know, I didn't like it the first time. And I now have like finished it. Like y'all can see through the bottom. This is good. I did a battle between this and Mish. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go ahead and check that out. Um, Cause it was interesting results, but. The next product that I have here is from Herbal Essences. This is their aloe oil, or I'm sorry, argan oil and aloe repair hair oil mist. That's what this product looks like. I don't know if I've showed you guys this on my channel before. It's only four ounces. This is one that um, one of my friends gave me to use up. And honestly, would I repurchase it? No, it's it's a refresher, but it's a hair oil. So, um no i wouldn't repurchase them next i have another oil here and this one is from kinky tresses kinky tresses this is their nourishing hair oil so that's what this one looks like again this oil is only four ounces i actually really do like this oil i don't um really see myself repurchasing a lot of oils but this is one that i would repurchase it's definitely nourishing like it says on um the the packaging is definitely nourishing it's moisturizing i noticed a good bit of castor oil and olive oil and all the oils that my hair tends to like it's definitely um a thicker oil so if you're not into that i wouldn't recommend but personally i really like it and i will be repurchasing the next product that i have here is from as i am and this is the double butter cream so as you guys can see mine is all beat up but it is completely gone and again this is another product that i revisited i didn't have a whole whole lot in um the container but i actually really really did like it um would i repurchase this probably not i don't see myself repurchasing it um but it's not a hard no either i do like the product it's just like 22 dollars for this size jar now and um I, I just don't see that for me next i have another oil this one's from honey's handmade this is the oatmeal cookie hair boosting hot oil treatment now this one is only two ounces um would i repurchase it no y'all know i'm not no longer supporting honey's handmade um but also i'm just not really a hot wheel treatment type of girl i didn't necessarily feel anything special in this product either so if you are a hot oil treatment person i recommend just using an oil you already have in your stash i don't think you have to run out and grab this all right and i have four more hair products so the first one that i have here this is the curl theory scalp refreshing conditioner wash this is 12 ounces i'm not sure how much this was this is another one that my friend gabby gifted me um to try and there was still a good bit left in here would i repurchase it no um i'm, I'm just not really a co-wash girl anymore um and also I, I didn't really feel anything special with this one i like co-washes where my hair feels clean and sometimes you have to sacrifice a bit of moisture with that um and this was extremely moisturizing so i didn't necessarily feel my hair being cleansed there is a light light tingle but it's not anything crazy so um it all depends on what you're looking for but as for me i wouldn't repurchase this product but i do want to try some other curl theory products because they are i want to say they're black owned and they're on target on the ground so i do want to support the brand but this just wasn't a product for me next i have another oil y'all i've been flying through some oils this is the myel rosemary mint oil this is the one that all the tiktok girls and guys then sold out across the daggone globe and this is two ounces and originally priced as $10, but I bought this for Black Friday. 
like I said, this is a repurchase and I actually really do like the oil. I think it's good. I will be repurchasing for Black Friday again. I'm hoping to go through some other oils because I don't I don't necessarily need all the oils that I have, but I do like this oil and I absolutely will repurchase it. So next I have the Annabelle's Perfect Blends Cocoa Pre-Treatment. If you saw my review on this, you already know how I feel. Um, I, I didn't like this product at all. Um, at, like at all it gave me um really just coconut oil and there's you know some herbs in there but the product since it's coconut oil when it's warmer it just turns into a liquid so when it got cold again then all the herbs were at the bottom so what i had to do was um like heat this up i had to heat it up to make it a liquid so that i could mix everything around it was just entirely too much just for it to be elevated coconut oil um something that i could do myself honestly and i want to say that this was like 16 dollars, and that's just not worth it for eight ounces and last but not least for my hair product empties y'all already know we have the just for me pre-poo y'all know i finished these like it's literally nothing of course i repurchase it it's like 5.99 at sally's it's 12 ounces it's pretty good ingredients it gets through my tangles and knots and all of that absolutely will repurchase i love this product i love it I've, I've, this has to be like it like at least number 10 on repurchases i love this product okay you guys so the rest of the products that i have in my bag are really like um body care i have a lot of candles all of that type of good stuff so i'm excited to um look in here and see what i finished because i just can't believe that i finished all these products in three months all right so the first one that i pulled out is a hand soap this is the um I don't know what the brand is, but it's Santa Mail hand soap and it's in the St. Cranberry. I picked this up from Marshall's. It was only like $5.99 or so. It was cute. Um, honestly, I didn't think too much of the soap, so um, it was cute. I, it was just decoration for the holiday season. Next, y'all already know me. I went ahead and finished up another Dr. Bronner's. This one, of course, is in the peppermint scent. I picked this up from Marshalls as well. I've been picking these up from like Marshalls and TJ Maxx just because they're a few dollars cheaper and I usually buy like three at a time. <laughs> um, but y'all know I love Dr. Bronner's. This is the Dr. Bronner's stand account. I use them in every shower that I take. Uh-huh. Check my shower routine playlist. Next, I went ahead and finished this EOS Shea Butter Shave Cream and this is in the scent Vanilla Bliss. And let me tell y'all, I actually really, really did like this. I want to say my curl friend, my girl Kelsey, um, Princess of Curls, I'm pretty sure that she's the one who put me onto this shaving cream. And y'all, it is good. It's seven ounces, but it's like a creamy consistency. I, I really like it. Um, y'all know I really have only had one staple shaving cream. So now I can add this to the list because this is good. The vanilla scent, it's not too overbearing. It's just, it's cute. Like, yes, this is a repurchase. Absolutely. Next, I have this Equate Feminine Wash. This is 15 ounces. Um, I honestly just had this laying around in my stash and I use this on my body as like a body wash because I just knew that I wasn't going to use it as like a feminine wash. So that's the way that I used it up. Would I repurchase it? No. Was there anything special about it? No. But you know, it's gone now. All right, y'all. Next, I actually have a toothpaste and this is the Arm and Hair Hammer Peroxicare. This is my staple toothpaste. Not too much to say about it. It's toothpaste. I finished another hand soap. This one is in the scent flannel. These are from Bath and Body Works. I love the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. Um, I get them when they're on sale, like however many for however much, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I like their hand soaps and the flannel scent was cute. You know, there's not too many scents from Bath and Body Works that I just wouldn't repurchase. So another one bites the dust. Next, I have this Nature Republic Smoothing and Moisture Aloe Vera and it's 92% i don't know it's aloe vera gel so i actually picked this product up from ulta long 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 ago and i honestly just use this on my body as like a body oil um and i i don't think that's the way you're supposed to use it i didn't like it that way um but you know it's gone it's another thing that i just had in i had in my stash literally forever so i'm glad to see it go i'm glad to see it was all used up but would i repurchase it no Next, I finished a body scrub, and this one is from Shea Moisture. This is that African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Body Scrub with Tea Tree Oil. 
so that's what this looks like and honestly i got this maybe about right here my mom passed this along to me to try and honestly it was okay it's um a pretty soft scrub it's not very abrasive which is typically the type of scrubs that i like for my body i like to actually feel my body being exfoliated and this was definitely more of a gentle like more like cream based scrub situation so would i repurchase it no but i do love the body wash from this um line so it's again all in what you're looking for another thing that i went ahead and finished up this is the sweet spot labs unscented gentle wash so again this is supposed to be like a um feminine hygiene vaginal type of wash situation and honestly i tried it and i really wasn't wowed y'all know like i said i use dr bronner's every day so i typically don't need to go in with like another feminine wash and my feminine washes of choice are still the honey pot i know there's a lot of issues and stuff with that but um i honestly wasn't too much of a fan of this so again i went ahead and used this as a body wash it was decent i don't have any complaints about it but would i repurchase it over like a regular body wash no all right y'all so next i have the urban skin rx combination skin cleansing bar so that's what this looks like they have these in target i want to say they're in ulta as well and if i'm being honest this product was pretty daggone disappointing for me um it's definitely more of like a clarifying cleanser so um just a heads up if you do have this product want to try this product for me it was more cleansing um but honestly it wasn't the product itself this is just messy it's just messy so it comes in this packaging and it's usually filled with the soap and it comes with sponges and you wet the sponges you you know rub it in and you know um but it was just messy like honestly and i i am in a phase where i'm just trying to to be one and done easy not too much um and i don't know this was just too much work when i could just simply squeeze some soap into my hands or pump some soap into my hands i just didn't like the the packaging on this honestly but as far as the product the product's okay um even for like my clarifying facial cleansers this doesn't beat it out this had my skin like stripped for real next i have a body lotion here and this is from bath and body works this is the scent and christmas cookie and how cute is this packaging I actually really really do like the scent of this lotion um it smells really good it definitely gives like holiday season it's giving cooking you know making cookies and decorating trees and stuff so i do like it but um honestly i don't really see me buying too many body care products from bath and body works anymore i have just found other brands other companies on the ground online that i just like better um so yeah i don't really think that i'll be repurchasing this one next i have a um like facial mist this is from pixie this is the hydrating milky mist with hyaluronic acid and oat so it was a white product and as you guys can see she's gone now y'all know that pixie can be a little bit pricey this was only 2.7 ounces and honestly i can't say that i really noticed any spectacular difference you know what i'm saying like i didn't spray it on and feel like oh my skin is just super hydrated i didn't necessarily get that um y'all know that i've been trying to dibble and dabble with more facial mist because y'all know that i'm a stand for the mario badescu facial sprays um but honestly i'm starting to question if i need facial sprays in my skincare routine at all at this point because i haven't found one that really wows me um between this one the one i'm using um and i do like mario but i just don't necessarily feel like i need i just don't know if i need it so let me know down below if you guys use facial mist how you use them all of that which ones you're using as far as this pixie one will i repurchase it no next product i have here is from eden body works this is the hair and body butter and this is the lavender aloe it's 16 ounces so that's what this looks like gone like gone 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 so let me tell y'all i absolutely hated this on my hair i used it once on my hair i actually have their butter as well from the um citrus fusion line i just don't really think i like the hair and body butters on my hair i love this for my body though let me tell y'all i love this for my body i wish that eden would just cut it with the hair and body butters because you know the us just leave it alone um but this as a body butter oh i love i love the scent from the lavender aloe line 
I only have found one product from this line that I actually like, but um, between the co-wash and this body butter, I absolutely will be repurchasing. This is really, really good. Really, really good. I will say I'm only repurchasing during their $5 Cinco de Mayo soda. And I mean it. Okay, so I have another lotion here. This is the Nivea Express Hydration Body Lotion. Y'all know what Nivea looks like. Y'all already know. This is a lightweight formula. Um, it's okay. I definitely feel like it's definitely hydrating. I definitely agree with that. Um, am I running out to go repurchase? No, but you know, if I'm traveling, if I'm going somewhere, I'm going to just need to pick something up real quick. Is this an option? Absolutely. Next, I actually went ahead and used up some bath bombs. So these are the, the bomb bath holiday surprise bath bombs. And there was one in reindeer bomb, which was in the scent gum drop. And then the Santa bomb in sugar plum. And I actually like these, the bomb bath bombs. They're really good. I like them. They come with a, like a little surprise in all of them. And I kind of love that. Um, it's usually unnecessary because I usually just throw them away anyway. But um, I do like the bath bombs. I think they're good. I've never had any irritation or anything. So yeah, I would, I would buy some more again. I don't know about this one in particular, but I definitely will buy more bath bombs from them again. Next, I actually have two candles here as well. So the first one that I have here is just in the scent Vanilla. This is in the Mainstays. This is the Walmart brand one. And as you guys can see, I do peel the wax out of my wax melters. Um, I, chill, out, I peel the wax out of my candles and I put them in my wax melters. So I have the Vanilla. The Vanilla was cool. Um, I actually did like this Vanilla. And it's a pretty hefty size candle. This one's 14 ounces. And then the next candle that I have here is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Spice Apple Toddy. This is another one that I do like. It's definitely a strong holiday type smell though. So the um, fragrance notes are warm apple brandy, spice plum, tart cranberry, cinnamon stick. Um, so you can, you know, it's definitely that holiday woodsy, um, cinnamony, like very strong smell. I don't know that I would repurchase that one again. I only burn it during the holiday season. So I don't know that I would repurchase it, but I also won't say that I won't repurchase it either. Okay, y'all, so I finished up yet another body lotion. And this one is actually my very first empties from Butter Baby. Y'all know I fell in love. Ten, like face first with Butter Baby. I absolutely love this brand. Um, and surprisingly enough, the first thing I finished was the banana cream body lotion. Y'all, when I tell y'all I don't even like the smell of bananas, but this banana cream, oh, I love this scent. And um, honestly, when she suggested this one to me and sent this one over, I honestly was like, mm, but I love this. Like, this is going to be a scent that I repurchase, 100%. Next, I have another little candle, and this one is actually from Forever Mood, and it's in the scent Skinny Dipped. So Skinny Dip to me is a is a very, very light fragrance, but it's very clean. Um, would I repurchase this? This is another one that I can't say yes or no. I honestly don't know. For me, um, to pay $45 for a candle is just crazy. I'm sorry. I just think it's crazy. Even with like my support, Sephora points and everything, I don't know. I think it's kind of crazy. I do really like the candles. I do think they take a long time to burn. Will I repurchase it? We'll just have to see. All right, y'all. So the next thing that I finished, surprisingly, surprisingly, surprisingly enough, is a facial oil. And this is from Fourth Ray, Fourth Ray Beauty. And it's the Radiate Vitamin C Serum. So I actually really do like this brand in general. Um, but this oil was really, really good. It's a vitamin C serum. So it helps with like radiance, glowiness, dew. Y'all know I love that type of thing. I love a healthy... Um, you know glow on my skin y'all know i love that personally i actually really did like this this is an affordable brand um i'm not sure if they're still in ulta but i know that they're still online so if you're interested in them i highly recommend this brand i think they're really good so i actually have another forever mood candle i had a four set um this is in the scent we not lincoln this has the same um holiday type of smell to me as the spiced apple toddy and i actually already do have this one in the larger scent so i'm not sure that i'll be repurchasing it again because it's definitely one that's like cooler weather holiday season type of situation but i already have a big one it was gifted to me so thanks 
So I actually have the body wash that matches the scrub that we talked about earlier. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash and it has oats, aloe, and vitamin E. I love this body wash. It's not aggressive or abrasive. I like that they have the um, little exfoliating beads in there. I love that. Um, Shea Moisture is affordable. I want to say I picked this one up from Marshalls. I like, I like this line for my body. All right, y'all, I promise we're at the end of this empties bag. These are the last full-size products that I have here. So first up, we have Nair. This one has the soothing aloe and lanolin. I use Nair on certain parts of my body. Um, It's cool. Nair is Nair. Will I repurchase it? Yeah. Next, I finished another hand soap from Bath & Body Works, and this is in a scent Sweet Sandalwood. Y'all, I discovered this this spring. Oh, I already have two backups. This scent is literally amazing so the notes on here is creamy vanilla sugar cane and rich sandalwood if you buy hand soaps from bath and body works please pick this scent up it smells so freaking good i love this sweet sandalwood this is definitely one of top two and not two and then the last full size product that i have here is from tph this is the wind down a relaxing creamy body cleanser and it has ylang ylang and paul santo um, I, I really did like this body wash. I don't think that I would repurchase this body wash because it doesn't have any like bubbles. It's a creamy cleanser. And for me, I usually don't like creamy cleansers. Like I need the bubbles. It's the same thing with like my shampoos. I, it's something about me. I need the bubbles. I know that there are other products in this collection. Um, like the candle. I know that there's the candle. Um, so I definitely think that I'll pick up other things from the collection. But as far as this cleanser, probably not. All right, you guys, so I actually have three little tea light candles, and these are from Posh Candle Co. So they came out with a um, crystal candle collection, and it came with six of these, which I'm glad that I didn't buy the full-size candles because y'all know I'm a candle girl. So um, honestly, I'm not overly impressed with any of these. If I'm being honest, um, I still have two left. Will I repurchase them? No. I do want to buy more products from Posh Candle Co. But I just really feel like these are very light scents. There is nothing distinct. Um, nothing that was just like, I have to go repurchase. So the ones that I finished are Amethyst, Rose Quartz, Tiger Eye, and then the Clear Quartz. And like I said, I have two more. But um, I'll finish them up, but I don't plan on repurchasing the Crystal Collection. All right, y'all. Y'all know I have Bath & Body Works plugins. I have the Champagne Toast and the Fireside Marshmallow. Honestly, if I'm being honest, y'all, I don't really see me repurchasing um, these plugins. I I don't like that the plugins just like disappear after a while. So I want to say mine usually lasts maybe about a month or so, but I swear they only like work for like actually two weeks out of the month. So I want to experiment with other plugin situations. I know a lot of people like the Glade and Febreze, so those are on my list to try next. But I still have maybe like six or so plugins, so I'll be using those up. But I honestly don't see me repurchasing the Bath and Body Works plugin. I think they can be a bit pricey, but also since they don't last consistently, like I have the Champagne Toast in now, and I can't smell it. I also have two um, hand sanitizers. I have Frozen Link and Twisted Peppermint. These are something that I will always repurchase. I just love the hand sanitizers. What I do have is a body scrub and this is from, um, actually I don't see the brand's name on here, but it is the sister company to Trees of Tresses. And they actually sent this over to me when they sent me the hair products, so thank you. They sent me actually like three, so shout out to them. This is from the Love Yourself collection and it's the body scrub in the scent Roses Are Red. Now, this product did grow on me. It wasn't my favorite though. Um, so this is definitely more like a oily type of scrub. Um, so you definitely have to mix it up before. And um, their packaging leaks. So just keep that in mind. But if you like more of like an oily type of scrub, um, I highly recommend this. There were times where I felt like I didn't necessarily need to put on lotion because I had the oil sitting on my skin and it left me nice and soft and moisturized. So it's a decent product, but as for me, I usually don't like such an oily scrub like I like the tree huts those are my favorites I have just this little hand lotion it's actually from Avon Chow yes so I had to go ahead and finish this up because 
girl and then last but not least i actually have this little tin and this was actually a lip scrub from one of my friend's businesses in college she's no longer in business so i'm not even gonna tell y'all about it the lip scrub was cool um i it took forever to use it all right you guys and i actually also have another product here this one i won't count as an empties but i'm telling y'all that i'm just throwing it away this is the elastic qp now the og natural hair girls and guys know that elastic qp used to be that girl on the scene this is the olive oil and mango butter curl defining pudding um and it is literally just about still full but i was going through my products and this literally expired on the first of 2020 yeah and we're a quarter through 2023 so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this away so let me go ahead i'm gonna count up the empties because y'all there is stuff absolutely everywhere all around me and let's see how many products we finished in the first quarter of 2023 so yeah you guys i actually finished 45 products which is crazy to me I finished 45 products in the first quarter of this year so i'm very excited um especially to see how many products we finished throughout the year because this is a huge huge start um especially since i didn't even get to finish hair products in the way that i usually do so yeah you guys we're off to a good start um let me know down below some things that you have been finishing some products that you've been using up or some products that you saw in this haul that um you also have so i love you guys so so much i hope to see you in my next video and i love you bye